Hello, and welcome to the Citadel Graduate College's virtual webinar series. I'm Dorian Howell, and I'm an enrollment coordinator here at the Citadel. The Citadel Graduate College has been operating here in Charleston at the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina, for over 50 years. The Citadel Graduate College offers graduate and transfer programs in various fields through online and evening classes to accommodate working professionals. This webinar series is designed to provide students with clear insight into our academic programs directly from key campus leaders, such as our provosts, school deans, as well as professors, support staff, and students. The Citadel produces principled leaders under the core values of honor, duty, and respect. Stay tuned throughout this series to see yourself on this journey. Today we are joined by Dr. Michael Verdicchio, who serves as the program coordinator for the Department of Cyber and Computer Sciences. Today he will be providing insight into the programs offered by this department. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Verdicchio, and I will turn it over to you. Thanks, Dorian, and uh, appreciate being here and appreciate the Citadel Graduate College um, creating this webinar series to help us get the word out among some of the other great programs that we're offering here at the Citadel. So I wanna start by introducing myself. Again, my name is Mike Verdicchio. I've been working here in the Department of Cyber and Computer Sciences since uh, 2011. Uh, I really enjoy working with a talented group of faculty and staff members who all sort of are unified under a vision of serving and helping our students, both at the undergraduate level and of course at the graduate level as well. So our department is small but mighty. We have seven full-time faculty lines and across me and my various colleagues, we have expertise in a number of areas, uh, certainly some in cybersecurity and cyber operations, including network security, pen testing, uh, but also in other disciplines like data mining, AI and machine learning, computer networking, and my specialty in software engineering. These different areas of expertise combine to allow us to offer a host of different courses and degree programs to serve the low country. One of our strengths though, is that we supplement our faculty ranks with adjunct professors from local industry. And our students get the benefit of having their subject matter expertise in the classroom uh, to bring that into our degree programs. We have adjunct professors that currently work at places like Spotify or NYWIC, uh, CyberVet Solution, Blackbaud, South Carolina Ports Authority. And these uh, members work with us not because uh, they, they want an extra paycheck, but they do it because they believe in the value of the programs that we build in our department. And we're grateful to have their expertise in the classroom. And in the case of many of them, on our industrial advisory boards as well. Our department has been recognized uh, nationally uh, several times recently. I can take the next slide. Um, we have a lot of active research and scholarship and uh, we bring in a lot of external grant funding from places like the National Security Agency or the National Geospatial Agency. Uh, we're also a member of the US Cybercom Academic Engagement Network, the only college in the state of South Carolina. And as an institution, the Citadel has been designated as a center of academic excellence in cyber defense education by the National Security Agency and by CISA. And while this designation was based on an academic pathway through our undergraduate programs, it's nonetheless a college-wide designation. And what it means to the master's student and the graduate certificate student is that they'd be taking courses in and around cybersecurity at a nationally recognized institution of academic excellence. And that definitely bleeds over into all that we do in all of our programs. Speaking of programs, um, I'd like to talk to you about our three offerings for graduate studies in the Department of Cyber and Computer Sciences. Our primary program is the Master of Science in Computer and Information Sciences, which is a mouthful, but you can think of it kind of like a master's in computer science. Once admitted to the program, students select one of four areas of concentration, either in cybersecurity, software engineering, information systems, or what we call traditional computer science. This chosen concentration will affect which pool of courses they select uh, nine credit hours from in the middle of their degree program. But otherwise, there's plenty of electives to spread your education around. We also have a combined bachelor's, master's degree program where our most talented undergraduate students can get an early jump on their master's degree by taking graduate courses to satisfy both their graduate and undergraduate degree requirements. We also offer two certificate programs, which are 12 credit hours each for a lighter fare. We have one in cybersecurity and one in software engineering. What makes these programs unique, besides some of the things I've already mentioned, is that these are all joint programs jointly offered with our friends over at the College of Charleston in their Department of Computer Science. 
So the graduate students really get the best of both worlds. They get everything that we offer here at the Citadel, but then they get to add to that the faculty expertise and resources of the College of Charleston as we work together as two departments to provide one joint program. Admission requirements for our program um, are designed to be as open as possible. There are a lot of students who wish to pivot into a career in computing and acquire a graduate degree or graduate certificate program. So for that reason, our primary admission requirement is a bachelor's degree from an accredited college with a GPA of at least 3.0. For borderline or exceptional cases, we can consider slightly lower GPAs with a probationary status upon admission, but 3.0 is the desired qualification. Notice that there is no programmatic restriction to this bachelor's degree as we accept incoming students from various undergraduate degree programs. We require a written statement of purpose to demonstrate your uh, desire to be in the program and your graduate communication abilities. The GRE is no longer required. You can take it if you'd like to be considered for extra assistantships or the like. And our biggest prerequisite, uh, our biggest uh, admission requirement is our prerequisite knowledge areas. So in order to be uh, avoid being overly restrictive in terms of which undergraduate programs um, can bring students in, what we do is say, no matter what your background is, you need to be proficient in four critical areas. Object-oriented programming, which is the basics of computer programming, usually the first couple of programming courses in a typical computer science degree program uh, would satisfy these. Uh, data structures, which would usually be the second or the third course, discrete mathematics, and basic computer architecture. I'm happy to work with uh, prospective applicants personally and explain a little bit more about the background of these areas, but most of our incoming students will choose to satisfy these four areas through degree, uh, through coursework taken at any accredited college. They may uh, transfer them in from a local community college. They may have some of them from their own undergraduate experience. Uh, we would love to have you take them here at the Citadel, but we do have some restrictions in our day program. So if you're a veteran, or active duty, you could certainly take them with us. Otherwise, I know of a lot of interesting places around the low country that you can take deficiency coursework in these areas or you can transfer them in. Um, in addition to coursework, uh, you can also satisfy these areas with relevant documented work experience. And in some cases, we can accept uh, sort of the massive open online courses, the MOOCs, if they are pre-approved by the program director. The, the reason that we have um, these prerequisite areas is because we have a technical hands-on degree program that gets you prepared for real application immediately after graduation. We don't just talk about computer science, we do computer science. And for that reason, we need all of our incoming students at that basic assumed level of proficiency. But suffice it to say, we have a lot of different students from a lot of different backgrounds that all come together at this starting line. And once you come in, this is the general degree plan. Every student in the master's program will take four core courses in courses like data modeling, software engineering, distributed systems, and applied algorithms. You don't have to take these courses first, but most students do. Following this foundation, you will choose three courses from a menu in your area of specialization or concentration, be it cyber security, software engineering, information systems, or computer science. To finish things up, you have three different options. You can choose four additional electives to brown yourself out at 33 credit hours and just uh, give yourself a variety of different coursework. You could do three electives and an applied project course, or you could do two electives and six hours of master's thesis research work. The residency requirement for our joint program is that at least 12 credit hours must be taken at either the Citadel or the College of Charleston. So you'll take more than 12 somewhere, but you have to take at least 12 in both places. Some of the menus of courses that I mentioned in the different concentrations I can go through here. Uh, so we have four different concentrations. Um, looks like we're clicking ahead a little bit. Can you go back to the four concentrations, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, slide nine would be great, thank you. So for the cybersecurity concentration, you have to choose three out of the following courses from advanced operating systems, privacy and security issues, data communications and networking, advanced cybersecurity, and sometimes we offer rotating special topics courses uh, that can also be appropriate for a concentration. If you choose the next concentration, which I believe is software engineering, the menu of courses that you can choose from include software requirements, um, software testing, human computer interaction, and a number of different courses, including new ones recently offered in software deployment and operations or DevOps. 
Do you choose the information systems concentration? We focus more on data and its management, um, looking at courses such as human computer interaction or computer networking, project change and management on privacy and security issues. And finally, our fourth concentration in computer science uh, offers courses that would be more ideal in preparing for a PhD program in computer science. Those where you take courses like automata theory. Um, can you go to the next slide, please? Sorry, I guess we missed. Yes, that one, thanks. Automata theory, advanced operating system, programming languages, and advanced database systems. <clears throat> Our graduate students are very successful in research, and many of them have been choosing the master's thesis option lately, and some of their projects they've been working on uh, range in topics from cybersecurity um, to data science and natural language processing. We have a recent student working on masquerading IoT devices, so uh, devices on your computer network like your Ring doorbell or other cameras. How can those uh, subvert security policies? Uh, homomorphic encryption for cloud applications, malware analysis, um, detecting social unrest through social media mining, and text mining using natural language processing are just a few of our recent projects. Students working in these areas will choose a, a committee based with faculty at the Citadel and College of Charleston, and sometimes an outside member, and they'll work together with their faculty mentor to develop their research projects, publish in conferences and journals, and lay the groundwork for future studies and industry accomplishments. One of our favorite success stories is Dr. John Ravan, um, who started uh, at the Citadel back in 2008 before I got here. My very first year, right before I, uh, I started in 2011, he graduated with his bachelor's degree in computer science and became a cadet no longer. He uh, enjoyed computer science so much, he immediately began work with us as a master's student in the very program that I'm talking about right now, completing that in 2014. He, wanted a he was working in the industry, but he wanted to keep learning and go on to a PhD program. It's very challenging to get a PhD while you're working in industry, uh, but John did it. And he worked uh, in his PhD program at the University of South Carolina in their computer science department. One of our faculty was on his thesis committee. And while working full time and having kids, he managed to complete in seven years, which is fast for those conditions, his PhD. When you have a PhD, that means you can teach graduate courses. And he's currently working as a software engineer at Spotify. But as I mentioned, he's one of our adjunct professors. And this semester, he's teaching our distributed systems course. And he's also taught software engineering. Our professors are world class. And we certainly bring all of our training and expertise to the classroom. But when you can have a tour guide instead of just a travel agent, like Dr. Ravan, who's actually been in the trenches and done what you're learning, it brings a whole new dimension to the classroom. Everything we do in our program centers around our students and we're here for your success. I personally advise each student in our program. We develop a program of study. We accept the realities of real life. Our program's in the evening and it's designed for working professionals who wanna add uh, graduate education and computer science to their resume. So we're here for you and I'm more than happy to address any questions, concerns, or comments you have about our program to guide you through the uh, application and admission processes as we work together with CGC. So I appreciate the time, uh, Dorian, to go over our programs, and I look forward to speaking with anyone interested in our offerings. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Verdicchio. Uh, we hope that you are now interested and ready to apply. Uh, so let's walk through those steps really quickly. Once you're ready to apply, you must first create an account within your population. So that would be either CTP, CGC, or active duty. Please note that if you are a veteran or currently on active duty and pursuing a graduate degree, please create a CTP or CGC account, not active duty or a veteran student account. Next, you will submit your application. And if you have any questions throughout the application process, please contact the CGC team and someone will gladly help you navigate the process. Lastly, once you have submitted your application, be sure to log out of your account so that your application portal can update. Required supplemental items vary based on the program, so you can check to see what items are required through your application portal or through the catalog inserts for the programs, which can be found on the program's website. The Citadel is waiving test scores for all graduate programs through 2023. If you have any additional questions about application materials, please reach out to your enrollment coordinator. 
You are able to submit all of your supplemental items through the application portal. However, if you run into any issues submitting your supplemental items, you can submit them via email at cgc at citadel.edu. You can also use the application portal to check your application status. Additionally, you will receive an email um, to the email you created your account with to inform you of when your application is marked as completed and your admissions decision letter will be sent via email to the email that you created your account with. Really quickly, I just wanna go over the application timeline. Please allow one to two business days to process any submitted application. You will receive correspondence about any missing items that we need for your application to be considered complete. When all required materials are received, applications are then sent off for review. And a decision is typically um, come to within five to 10 business days. Your, again, your admission decision will be sent via email. We're so grateful that you joined us today. We hope that you felt inspired and gained more interest in our Department of Cyber and Computer Sciences. Please use this application fee waiver code today to waive the $40 application fee. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you again, Dr. Radicchio.